Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany, if you don't know who I am, and I am a physician assistant who specializes in infectious diseases. I recently just started working, and so it's been a while since I've had time to kind of sit down and film a video for you guys, but I'm excited to share everything once I get situated and have more stories to tell you guys. So today's video is actually gonna be a what's in my like work bag kind of video. I've always been really interested in watching these because number one, I always want to be prepared and I just don't know what to carry if I'm ever starting something new. So like school, if I'm going to a specific like vacation location, I just don't know what to pack. And so I tend to watch these videos to give me ideas on what to bring with me and things like that. And so I wanna preface this by saying you can bring whatever you want to work, but this is the stuff that I think are essential for me every day. And then I do commute. So the thought in the back of my head is I don't want my bag to be super big or super heavy because I'm walking on in the subway all the time and in the city. And so it's nice to have a bag that is comfortable and can carry everything for me but also is functional if that makes any sense i juggled with the thought of carrying a bag that was on like one shoulder versus just having a backpack and i actually switched out between the two the first couple of weeks of work and i came to the conclusion that a backpack was just better because i could run with it i could walk with it it's distributed evenly on both shoulders so i won't be lopsided and it just overall was a better fit for me as a commuter. My backpack is literally one of the oldest backpacks I've ever seen. I think we had this or like it's been in my family since my sister was in middle school and this backpack has been used by my sister in school and then my mom used to use it for work and now I use it for work. It's big enough that it carries everything I need but small enough that it doesn't take up too much room if that makes sense. Like I have bigger book bags in this but it's not really necessary this is from high sierra i just put a couple of pins in the front because it helps decorate it and make it a little spiced up i had an extra pin but actually fell off this morning oh yeah here's the pin it says be the light the other ones that i have uh one of them is it says army and then the other one is like a new york blood center and then this little like cat donut looking thing. In my small pouch, I carry basically anything that's that I need easily accessible in this pouch. So anything having to do with like my headphones, they're gonna be in here. I purposely carry my wired ones when I travel on the train because I'm super paranoid about the fact that someone could bump into me and my AirPod will fall out of my ear and then I will lose it forever. And so, Having the wired one is just easier for me to keep track of. Um, so I have headphones, I have um, pads for that time of the month. I also have a pair of sunglasses. These are like $5 and I just throw them in my bag because it's the summer and it's super, super sunny and it's nice to have some sunglasses while you're walking in the city because it gets really, really bright outside. Um, I also have these Strepsil cough drops. I was sick a couple of weeks ago and this was like a game changer for me. Um, they have some sort of like menthol, something else in here. Tiffany actually gave these to me, but they helped because I was literally choking on nothing. I always carry an emergency granola bar or protein bar and this is now flat as can be. It's a Bear Bells caramel cashew protein bar. As you can tell, it's been in my bag for a really, really long time, but that does not change the taste of it. And these will forever be my favorite protein bars. And then I also have hand cream in here. This is from Skin Foods. It's just the shea butter scent. And then I have some eye drops which is essential if you have contacts. And then I have some hand sanitizer. Next, I move into this. So I have my keys here. I have some surgical face mask just in case I feel like wearing it. You know, sometimes on the subway, things can get really dirty and people are coughing everywhere. And I have them just in case. I don't wear them, but if I wanted to, I have them. I also have some extra cough drops. Like I said, I was sick the other week. 
and so I have a couple of those as well. And then I have this tiny notebook from Muji. My friend Jessica actually gave this to me and I use it to write down things for work because I work from home a couple of days of the week and then I work in clinic also the other dates of the week. And so sometimes I just need to jot things down and bring it back and forth. So this notebook is small enough for me to carry back home and to work and so i just write important things down in here i also have my wallet and then my hospital id which i will not be showing you because security reasons but what i can show you is my badge where it says physician assistant and then i also have my work phone which i could honestly turn off now because i'm not working anymore yeah so this is my work phone and then i'm filming on my actual phone which is why you can't see it i use this when i'm at work and then i leave my regular phone in my office because there's no point in me bringing both phones everywhere yeah so that's basically everything that is in the other pouch all right and then lastly I have the biggest pouch here. The only thing that I took out that I usually carry with me is my lunch, but I left the box in the kitchen downstairs because I already ate lunch today. Um, so that's the only extra thing that I'm not gonna be showing you, but that's in my bag. And then on days where it's raining, I'll bring an umbrella because you need to have an umbrella if you're gonna be walking around the city when it's raining. I have my stethoscope with me. So I just bought this tiny stethoscope bag or box kind of thing it fits it almost perfectly and then i have some alcohol wipes the stethoscope replacement parts in here as well and then i have a pen um yeah so this just carries my stethoscope with me and it's a hard case so it won't like damage the stethoscope at all i also have my kindle and this is solely because my commute is extremely long and so having this on the train is a way to pass time if I don't want to constantly be on my phone. Last couple of things, I have a water bottle with me. And this is essential because I need to keep hydrated. I use a blender bottle because it's larger than my other bottles, I would say. It holds 20 ounces and it's pretty light, like it's just plastic. Um, I go through phases where I have different water bottles with me. So right now it, it's my blender bottle, but other times it'll be my Awala. And I honestly love this because it keeps the water really cold. Like I said, I have phases and right now it's the blender bottle. And then the last thing that I carry with me is like this emergency bag kind of thing. It just has all my essential stuff that I would want if something were to go wrong. So I have a hair brush with um, a mirror. I have a couple of band-aids. These are essential because one time I was wearing new loafers to the city and my feet got ripped up from that. Um, I have a mirror. This is more so for me to look at if I'm like out and about. My friend actually got this for me when she went to Korea and it's really, really cute. Um, I have some Narcans. Honestly, I think I started carrying this with me when I was in school because they had like a Narcan presentation and they told us to carry it with us. So I just left it in here. I've never had to use it as you can tell. I have some extra contacts because we all know there's a possibility that something might fly into my eye or my contact might fall out of my eye and so it's nice to have a backup if I need it. I have some sunscreen. This is like a baby Aveeno. I really haven't used this much, but it's nice to know I have it if I want to. I have a small pill box, which carries like some of my multivitamins and then some allergy medication. I also have a pair of surgical latex gloves. I don't really know why. Yeah, this is like my emergency pouch in case I need anything. Um, it's just in here. All right, so that is the end of my what's in my bag. It's really, really boring. As you can tell, it's literally my most essential items. And I like to keep it that way because I don't want my bag to be super heavy. So if there's anything that you find that you need to bring to work or is really helpful as a commuter definitely let me know down below i would love to hear what you have yeah i think that's going to be the end of this today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye